When early European settlers reached the Northern Territories, the windswept coasts of Iceland, the rugged interior valleys of Norway, and the frozen settlements Greenlanders tried to tame, they found something that, well, absolutely stunned them. They saw Viking families living in homes that stayed warm, even when the outside air dropped to temperatures that could freeze sea spray mid-air. Reports from missionaries, traders and sailors all noted the same thing. These homes were comfortable enough that people could sit without shivering, sleep without frostbite, and work indoors without smoke clogging their lungs. Yet when settlers tried to copy this trick, they were met with warnings. Warnings from those who understood that imitating the method without understanding the principles could turn a warm house into a death trap. The technique begins with the longhouse turning its own interior architecture into a heating machine. A Viking longhouse wasn't a simple wooden hut. It was, in fact, a thermal ecosystem. The centre of the house held a long fire trench rather than a traditional raised hearth. This fire ran low, steady, and controlled, burning continuously through the cold seasons. The key was the placement. The fire was set below the main walking surface, dug slightly into the ground. This created a basin where heat could rise slowly and saturate the entire structure instead of escaping through the roof like in most medieval homes. One of the most misunderstood features of Viking heating was the deliberate use of smoke. Modern thinking pushes smoke out immediately, venting it before it lingers. Viking homes did the opposite. They used the smoke as insulation. The upper half of the longhouse filled with a low haze of warm smoke that settled into the rafters, creating a barrier that trapped heat and sealed off drafts. Another factor settlers misunderstood was the role of body heat, human and animal. Viking longhouses often housed animals in an adjacent section. Their warmth rose and mingled with the heat stored in the floor and the long fire. This is why settlers were warned. The longhouse was tuned to the climate, terrain and materials Vikings had mastered through generations. Dig your fire trench too deep and you risk suffocation. Seal your roof too tightly and you trap smoke. Use the wrong soil and the trench collapses. Build too large and you lose the advantage of thermal mass. This wasn't just a building. It was a technology that had to be constructed precisely. If deep history and practical survival knowledge like this is the kind of content you want more of, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video with other history lovers and off-grid enthusiasts. The past has more to teach us than most people realize. And the next trick we cover might be the one that transforms how you think about shelter forever.